Hey, welcome back everyone. Who would have thought that we'd see this so soon? Yes, the Verde at the very top of Major League Soccer. All due respect, probably not many, but I'll tell you what. One key catalyst behind Austin FC's sudden rise to the top has been the addition of veteran midfielder Felipe Martins. He joins me on this week's edition of Outside the Box. Outside the Box, Episode 2, Tyler Feldman here at the base of Mount Pinnell. We're joined by Austin FC midfielder Felipe Martins. You ready to make this climb? What are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get going. I find it fascinating. Fascinated to, to get to know places, to get to know people, to get to know cultures. I feel much closer to home because I feel that where I come from Brazil, there is the same type of mentality, you know, hard work people. How many languages can you speak? Five. Five different languages? <laughs> yes. Just got hit by a bridge. <laughs> See that? Which, which five? Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, English, and French. I love it. I love it. It's a great view. Austin FC has climbed to the top. Major League Soccer standings. I think we did the easiest part to climb to the top. Now is the hardest part to stay on the top. And I think that requires a lot of work. The young guys I said, you guys have one job. Don't f it up. <laughs> this is my family now. When I walk into the, the training facility, I'm screaming, hey, good morning, guys. Let's wake up. Everything about this city, I love the team. Recently played in your 300th Major League Soccer game. Describe what that moment felt to get to that point in your career? It's, it still gives me goosebumps, you know, like bumps in, in my arm, because it represents all the hard work I've done. Obviously, there's a lot of people that uh, on the field doesn't like me, and I'm completely fine with that. You've got two young kids, two young yeah. boys, a wife. If there's one big lesson that you want to pass down to them, what would that one lesson be? My boys are my life, you know? Um, I just try to prepare them to the world. I tell him the truth. I tell them, you know, like that life's not easy. I think Martins was born with a joke between Sebastian Driussi and Max Ruti. They had this great idea of saying, okay, let's make fun of Felipe. So they brought one. I show up one day and he's right there on the board. And he said, what the hell is this thing here? They originally were going to put Q2 Stadium right here. Really? No. <laughs> if you were stuck in an elevator with any one of your teammates for 24 hours, which one teammate would you want to be stuck in that elevator with? Max Uruti. Why? Because he don't sh never shut up. We had Danny Pereira on. Very next game, scored a goal. So the expectation now is for whoever comes on the show, very next match Sunday, should see a goal, right, from you? I wouldn't expect anything less. Uh, I just wish I can score two instead of one. For the record, off the field, I'm a completely different person. You know, like I'm a very caring person. I'm a very honest guy that really, really like to, to, to be around people. I, I love my family. And I genuinely do things for or make them happy. People are gonna remember maybe a little, I was a little too crazy, but you know, it, that's life. Darren Ishan, I gotta tell you, had so much fun getting to learn about what makes Felipe tick. <laughs> he definitely has a mouth on him, I say that. <laughs> he, he's the best, he really is, he's fascinating. He even told me he'd love to become a coach after his playing career is over, but it's not over just yet. Austin FC takes on Orlando City 7 p.m. Sunday at Q2 Stadium. Yes, and we'll be there. And he better score. That's the rule. All Danny right. Pereira scored. He has to score now. If you come on the show, you've got to score. It is what it is. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs>